Now, offensively, we did a fantastic job. Um, you know, it didn't show it on the scoreboard, but when we go back and we compare it to how we competed up to this point in the year, that was one of our best offensive performances as far as how we gauge our hitters as far as uh, quality at bats. Um, we just had nothing to show for it. You know, we had six line drive double play outs with runners in scoring position. Um, we had 74% of our at bats in game two were quality at bats, and that's you know, taking the pitcher deep in the count, you know, having a, a, a good swing on the on the ball, um, you know, doing something productive for the team. We had 74 percent of our at bats, and, and nothing to show for it. We're going to get back to work in practice and continue to do what we do, uh, and focus on um, getting better as a group, and being more prepared, and and really not taking for granted anything about the game. Um, we know we got to go make it happen from here on out. So it's a great learning tool, I think, for us is uh, remind us every day when it becomes monotonous and it becomes tough and it becomes a grind that if you forget about it, it's going to come back and get you, and you in, in a way that you don't want it to ever happen. So uh, we've got Iowa State on Wednesday. Hopefully we can handle uh, the adversity of the weather, making sure we can try to get the game in. Um, not sure what we're going to do as far as that goes. It's, it looks like 70% chance for rain, snow tomorrow, 40% uh, on Wednesday. Just got to try to find where that window is going to be for us to be able to get that game in. And then Thursday, the same thing. So uh, three days in a row here, it's going to be tough weather-wise to, to try to sneak a game in. We're going to do our best. Iowa State's uh, a great team. Uh, you know, they've got uh, some up and downs with their pitching. Um, you know, offensively, they've got some really scary hitters in their lineup. Allie Cappert in the middle of their lineup, a senior for them. Uh, you know, just really demolished everybody in the fall in the Big Four Classic. Uh, nobody could really get her out. She's a, a great hitter for them. They've got some some really solid hitters around her. Um, but they, they always play well. They're just very well coached, solid team. You know, I've always said they're, they're up against it more than any other team in the state because of who they play every weekend. Um, and then we hit the road for Bradley, who uh, is coming off a nice weekend against Evansville this weekend, taking two out of three. Um, as far as stats goes, they have one of the best offenses in the league. They're in the top three, hitting 297 as a group. Um, you know, we know that they're well coached. Um, pitching has been the question mark for them, but they seem to be getting uh, good pitching at the right times and, and keeping themselves in ball games. And, and we know how dangerous they've been to us the last three years. Uh, they kind of had our number, so uh, we got to be ready to go and, and get things back on the right track this week.